Hi guys, Aussie Coin Hunter here. Well, look, this video has been requested regarding light boxes. Now, I uh, use a light box extensively for showing my finds and in my wrap ups, and also when I want to post pictures on Facebook. Sometimes they're from pictures from in the field, but you can um, go from taking pictures that look like this. To pictures that look like this. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. I've <laughs> attempted three times and made this video so complicated, I'm just going to do a simple version. Okay, guys, so how I do this is this is where the coin I put my camera right there and I've used sheet metal I kind of got a bit fancy with that but you'll see a bit in a minute that you can use and this is where I take all my shots of my coins on this little platform simple it's actually a field glove stuck stapled onto a bit of wood I'll just peel that back a little bit just a couple of bits of wood rough with a little ledge and what I've done is, let's put that back, put a few staples just to hold the cloth in place and so you got a little ledge there. And um, that wood is mounted to the wheel of a remote control car, an old remote control car that's screwed to this wood. Now, I have it uh, in my box. I have little markings on the bottom so I know where to put the stand I have it about 100 mil from this point where the coin sits to the light and I find that's optimum it gives the optimum a clear picture mine's made out of five uh, locker doors and I have mounted my down light in the top like this and I have it plugged in there and I turn it on when I need it. I'll, this is what I use and I'm going to show you how to make something similar yourself as quickly and simply as possible. With mine I've screwed the box. But I'm going to show you how to make a box and I've painted it black. Show you how, how to make a box uh, and then you can go from there. Okay guys so what you might see quite, quite often is computer towers. Probably do. Right, so what you're going to need is this. There's the down light. There's the globe inside, and that's what's called a gimbal kit. Now you can get them straight, or so that they pivot like that to get different angles. Uh, and I'll pull that apart and show you. Now a kit like this with a transformer and or a straight or or an angled uh, gimbal kit is about twenty to thirty dollars. Right, so basically these twist, you watch, won't be able to do it now, they twist and come out and there's your gimbal, so it has that ability to angle, you may have seen these in houses anyway, but basically the globe itself slots into there, like so, that slots in and then you twist it like that and that's your gimbal set, most time I just have it straight. A transformer goes from 240 volts to 12 volts has the mains power cord there this is an Australian one and then on this side usually when you get the gimbal kit it has this little lead which plugs onto the back of the light the light that you saw before just plugs straight onto the back like so so that's 12 volt down light so 240 volts, 12 volt, and when you get your kit, you, you plug that in, tie it, put them two in. They're not polarity conscious, it can go either way, and that's your low voltage 
there's your 240 volts which is dangerous and you should uh, if it's not already connected you should have a licensed electrician or electrical contractor to take care of that for you and also be aware that as you use it be careful always check for any damage and don't set it up in such a way that this cord can get damaged because it is 240 volts or whatever the main supply is in your country where the fans go and you just cut each one of these like that there you go with a little care you can do that without killing yourself and once again you can fit your down light to the light box Now, what I'd be doing is, what I've done with mine, is to make something raised that will hold it. Because holding it in your hand, your hand moves, you can't get a clear shot. But as long as it can sit there by itself and you can get it all focused and take that shot. You need to make a stand to go in here. Something to go across there. Uh, a board or whatever. And you could screw it through the ends to hold it in place. Another feature of having this to be removable as opposed to being permanently fixed is you can then take larger items and just hold them in there by hand while you've got your little holder up here holding your camera and um, because you've got that space that's why I like mine it's a little bit deeper is you can get the larger items and I've had quite big items in here and then you can get a nice shot and I'll show you some shots of things that are bigger than coins the most important thing is when you're making your camera stand there's so many different cameras and basically you have to, if you've got a special holder for your camera, you can mount that to the box or make something that will suit your camera and get it in the right angle. And you want it to be able to, I have mine so it can bend up or down and you can get that angle. You might get a nicer angle or you want to be, so you'll have to make that up yourself. And I've got something that you'll find quite good because it already has some bends already made in the factory. I'll show you what that is and that's cheap to get off the side of the road too. that off the microwave and the reason why I got this off the microwave the outer shroud is because it has bent sheet metal now you have the big bends already bent for you and you have some small bends now these small bends here will hold a device like an iPhone or an iPod now if you need to do bigger bend, have a bigger bend to hold your camera uh, and make it like a little platform so I can't imagine a camera being any bigger than that uh, but it depends what your camera is and you can cut it accordingly to size small or as big as you want and then this section comes up and you can bend it and bend it, cut it and set it to how you want it to be on your on your um, light box so it's permanently fixed the position that you like so that's why I grab this okay guys so I hope that video helps you and helps improve your pictures that you do for your Facebook or during your videos um, I prefer the quartz halogen I like the 12 volt uh, low voltage down light and um, if you couldn't get hold of that, you could possibly get hold of just an incandescent globe or a lamp and shine it down if you can't afford the, um, the down light. So take care, good luck out there, and bye for now.